Happy holidays, Green Thumbs. Hopefully everyone's sitting here with full bellies. I know I am. And as everyone gets prepared for their holiday decorations, we figured we'd show you just one more activity you can do with your hanging baskets. So don't put them away quite yet. He's gonna get this basket ready for us to uh, plant up and I'm gonna take you along. Let's go get some materials. See you in a few minutes. So the first thing we're gonna grab for a holiday basket is some pine branches. We got this one overhanging this walkway here going towards the orchard. So this will be a perfect one to grab. So I'm gonna snip some of this. If the branch is kind of thick, you can get some ratcheting pruners like the ones I have in my hands here. All right, we got our pine branches. The next thing we're gonna grab, go for a little walk here. We're just looking for color really to put in our holiday basket. So I'm looking for reds. So I'm gonna look for some dog redwood, which has <clears throat> red uh, bark, something like this here. So I'm gonna cut some of this up. So I'm also gonna grab some uh, spruce branches. So cut some of this up. So we got the majority of the stuff that we need right here. I am gonna take a trip and grab some corkscrew willow on the other side of the property. Then we can head inside and start this project. So I don't need to bore you guys too much longer. I think you guys get the idea. Just pretty much get, out, get outside, look around, see what you got to work with. And if you don't, there's always parks nearby. You always got family members. You always got like your uh, city municipality where you like drop off your lawn clippings and stuff like that. A lot of the time, most people got uh, brush piles and stuff like that that you can dig through. There's stuff all around. So just get inspired, get outside, grab some items, and let's make this basket. All right, we're back with all of our materials. We got them cut up a little bit. So what do you guys think that we're gonna be making with all these materials right here? Alrighty. So now that you know what we're making, let's show you how we put one of these together. So I got these pre-cut. So you wanna start out with your greenery and you wanna start in the center with your tall stuff and then work down to your shorter stuff. So I got these pre-cut, like I said, I am just gonna stick these in here. What Ryan's got is some white pine that he's starting with. So now we got our tall stuff in the center. I am going to go through with some of these smaller pieces here and tuck them in here. We'll be back in a second. Most part. All right, now as you can see, we do have our white pines all set. So the next step would be your next greenery, which we got spruce. We got spruce uh, trees or trimmings. And the same thing, we got them cut them down. We're gonna stick some taller ones in the center and then work some smaller ones in on, the, in on the side. Let's get to work doing that. All right, so your greens are all in. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to look for some color. So this is where we're gonna add our dog redwood or our willow branches. Same thing, we always wanna go tall in the middle and work our way down. So the fun thing is, is that you get to be creative and honestly, these weeds right here had me stop and grab some. They do sell these little like uh, spike things with a little wire on it. So this isn't gonna be strong enough to actually shove into the soil. So then you can get these at a little craft store. It's a little wooden spike, like I said, with wire on it. So then we go ahead and wrap the wire around a bunch. And then you're gonna wanna cut off right underneath that wire And then you're going to use that stake to stick it down in there. And just like that, we've got one. So we're going to go ahead and stick in a few of those. We're just working in some different colors and some different textures. And we're going to just do a few to uh, complete the decorative holiday hanging basket. We got some willow branches here. Another way to spruce it up is to give it a little spray paint. So that's what we're gonna do right now. All 
All right, and then we have the miniature daisy. Surprisingly, look really cool. And we took a little bit of spray paint and hit them with a little bit of gold uh, spray paint just to make them flash a little bit more. So we're gonna get rid of those. And we're gonna go ahead and break these up. And we're gonna go ahead and stick those in here as well. Adding some more texture and color. We also got these silver ones here that we're also gonna add. And something like this, less is more. So what, what do, do you think? think? You, as you can see, we got some of our final touches on. Uh, you can add as many ornaments as you want, uh, fake birds. You can use pine cones. As you can see, our mother whipped up a nice little bow out of uh, ribbon. ribbon. So we've got a ribbon bow on there. Like I said, let your imagination run wild and create something beautiful. And if you guys create something, we would love to see it. So please share it and take us in there because we want to see what you guys come up with. So let's go hang this thing up, all right? From the Easy Swap family to all of you guys, happy holidays.